Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, we'll discuss the differences between good notes and notability. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the audio recording feature. Notability has an audio recording option, allowing you to record background audio while taking notes. This feature favors students as they can record lectures while taking notes. It also suits professionals attending business meetings because they can engage in discussions and record audio while taking notes. On the other hand, GoodNotes lacks this feature. Therefore, note-taking while multitasking can be difficult. In this case, Notability offers a more efficient note-taking experience as the audio saves you from missing crucial information. Organization GoodNotes has a traditional style of organization and managing your files, similar to how a desktop and Google Drive structure its documents. With GoodNotes, you organize your work with folders first, each containing other folders or a notebook. On the contrary, Notability has created its own new system, with real notes as the center stage. You can put all your notes into their respective subjects and then create dividers with a maximum of five subcompartments. This system is big on organization. If you're not gifted with taking time to organize files and folders meticulously, you might risk losing or disorganizing your work. Therefore, GoodNotes is simple and convenient, especially for people who are busy and need touch-and-go organization. User Interface Notability has a simple and minimalist user interface, or UI. You can change the UI color scheme from dark to light at any time. You can create a default page template to choose how you want your notes to look. Here, you can select a variety of customizations, from patterns to space adjustments. You can also choose a seamless or a single page view. Notability also has its settings in one place for easy navigation and accessibility. GoodNotes, on the other hand, has a cluttered UI. Its settings are scattered throughout the app, making them less accessible. GoodNotes does not have customizable themes, so you have to stick with what you have. In this case, Notability has more variety in terms of page customization and theme selection. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. GoodNotes and Notability offer handwriting to text conversion, whereby users can search their handwritten notes or convert them to typed text for easy sharing. To sum up, which is better, GoodNotes or Notability? I like GoodNotes because it has a better organizational structure, especially for students with a lot on their plate. However, Notability has a simpler user interface and several customizable options for versatility. Notability also has an audio feature, a lifesaver when taking notes during lectures or meetings. For these reasons, I pick Notability as the winner between the two. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.